My beautiful souls, welcome into a daily read. We're here to talk about Thursday or thereabout. Um, I do apologize for having my sunglasses on today. I am just uh, a tired mess. So that is just what's happening. But uh, let's pull some main energies, beginning with the Magician, the Ten of Wands, and the third on the board, the Hermit card. It feels like Spirit's saying there's happiness and uh, success ahead for you. There's the uh, ultimate uh, success that you desire, but you're not feeling it uh, per se throughout this period, all right? Um, I really feel as if throughout this Thursday, you're manifesting, uh, they're saying like a magician, all right? And you're feeling quite magical in your ability to transform your world uh, for the better, all right? Um, but then there's that second guessing or that doubt or questions in regards to uh, how much of that success lies ahead for you. In spirit saying don't use your manifesting ability uh, to your disadvantage okay because it feels like you will push out that ultimate success uh, plus some um, it, to a further uh, date point interesting wording um, if you continue to uh, or push yourself to, to doubt okay or question once again but we're moving on to the ten of wands I really feel as if this day is speaking upon um, all that is lying uh, on your plate, okay? Again, very weird wording, but um, they're also saying, giving me the, the wording of uh, all this on your shoulders, uh, feeling a little bit heavy in energy for whatever reason, but there may be a choice or two from the recent days, um, maybe rewinding a bit further back that are um, uh, adding to the heaviness that you're feeling, all right? Um, I really feel as if Spirit's saying, you will be shifting forward in the upcoming weeks towards something different. Um, and that's going to be different for everybody drawn to the reading, whether it's a move or residence, a shift in your career or your work uh, life. It could be, you know, um, uh, traveling for somebody, you know, actually, you know, hopping on a plane or a train uh, or a bus to travel to somewhere different. But I do feel as if you're going to be understanding things quite clearly throughout this day, but then there's part of you that just wants to question it, right? Um, in the first uh, pre-pulling that I did, and then Spirit pushed me to, to actually pull them on camera, I got the page of uh, swords for the uh, first energy. And Spirit's saying, it's because this day involves learning, uh, growing, it involves knowledge intake, and even remembering all the meanwhile. This is purposeful because I feel as if this is going to help you moving forward uh, minimalize or completely remove this heaviness, all right, that we're feeling energy-wise uh, throughout this period. But they're also saying that when you have this beautiful, powerful ability to manifest and co-create with uh, certain uh, positive spirits, uh, spirits, excuse me, you also need to remember that a lot of which that you're manifesting adds uh, significance, okay, but adds um, busyness onto your plate, you know what I mean? Say, for example, just as an example, you are choosing to manifest a new partner, right? Um, a new romantic situation that's going to take up time, period. And so I feel as if moving forward, you need to remember um, that this is going to take place, you know what I mean? Um, you manifest something of importance or just something you want and it will need to you, you have to cut out space for it and it does take up time and energy okay um, I don't know why that needed to come out uh, excuse me needed to come out in this reading but it did and the hermit card once again being the third energy on the board because it, it's a day where you're feeling to yourself all right um, I wouldn't be surprised if part of the reasoning is because you're feeling this heaviness uh, for one, if not multiple reasons, um, dating back and or more so just uh, because of this day. But I'm getting specifically somebody has a living situation where uh, not all of the energy within it is heavy and maybe anxious or off uh, putting, but some of which is and it's affecting you, right? Even if you're not one to label yourself or consider yourself an empath like me, but uh, those who are, uh, you know, an empath take a deep breath okay take a deep breath because it's evident that people in your midst uh, are going through it even if that's um, neighbors okay and I want to say even people uh, driving and strolling on by you know past the building you're living in 
but um, we're also uh, adding the hanged man to the board. I feel as if you need to, at certain points throughout this period, adjust your perspective. Excuse me, as noise in the background did affect me. Um, feeling as if you, uh, at times, don't fully get things and that gets the best of you or it pushes you to question once again, to second guess, to wonder. And I feel that this is going to need to be put to rest. Let's keep pulling. We're moving on to the tower card. Look at this. I feel like a lot of which onto the reading are manifesting a tower moment. All right. Something that you desire to see put to rest. I also feel like spirit is reminding a lot of you, uh, reminding being the key wording that in ending uh, to a cycle, all right, an end to a cycle does lie ahead, specifically within the next uh, few weeks. But I feel as if you need to take a moment and appreciate what's at hand while it lasts, okay? Because um, thinking back to when you asked for what you have now, okay, uh, or more so demanded it or just manifested it, um, it, it reminds you that you do have at hand, for the most part, what you have wanted okay or needed a, at a certain point you know within your past and so it, there's they're also saying to an extent if not fully you will miss what's uh, at hand currently even with its in, uh, imperfections and difficulties um it may be bad energy okay um even if again that's not fully um the case so enjoy what's at hand all right because when things change up it will be for the better when this uh you know manifests and comes to be is even earned all the meanwhile it's for the better once again but you will miss what's at hand period but i feel like there's a development within that's taking place you can't help but feel different throughout this period and this might be partially intertwined with this heavy feeling okay um i'm hearing the phrase growing pains growing pains you will be feeling a bit, I'm hearing groggy or just uh, maybe a little bit um, out of it, okay? Um, and that's just a fact, all right? But um, I also want to say that you are being viewed at as an emotional soul, somebody who goes through it, somebody who needs more uh, self-care, but it's almost this feeling of you um, forgetting at times to take care of yourself. One second as I did need a, a true deep breath there. Um, and I feel like at certain points throughout this period, going back to all that's taking place and transforming for you and all that's on your plate, you as well will need to take a deep breath. Um, even if that's just one significant uh, period for you um, or time rather. Anyways, um, you're going to be feeling the need to buckle down and do what you have to do. There's something that uh, a select few drawn to the reading are concerned about when it comes to having enough money for something to extend something or to invest in something. Otherwise, you will find a way. OK, you will have the funds. It almost feels like spirit saying if we provided you the funds specifically um, uh, earlier, uh, there is a chance you would have spent it on something you shouldn't have. And so kind of putting it closer to that point of continuing or investing in that um it's going to just need to come in at that point i'm hearing divine timing trust in the process okay trust in the power and the ability but the um special factor of your team of guides is what i'm getting anyways they're assisting you now in a very strong and uh driven but not giving up kind of way you're uh, changing your world for the better every little bit of action and um, uh, change and adjusting and um, effort otherwise that you're putting forth towards this and that of importance, including yourself, right? Uh, that's helping your world develop and change. And you can't help but think about change for the future. It, it's as if you want things to switch up. Um, but then Spirit's saying again, take a hot second and appreciate, be grateful for, um, and uh, utilize what's at hand uh, to your advantage, okay? Um, because it's also going to, when doing so, and even after the fact, help you glow or bring that glow back as I'm being drawn to this imagery. But you're wanting to um, appreciate at certain points throughout this day and then you're taken away from it. And I don't feel like that's a positive spirit um, pulling you away. 
because anybody who's on your side and uh, looking to assist you, help you, motivate you even, is not going to take you away from the appreciation, the uh, gratitude that you're meant to be embodying and utilizing once again to your advantage. But um, yeah, sometimes negative, negative actions are disguised by what feels like uh, assisting. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But um, it, it feels like you're gaining clarity on when and maybe as well how something is going to be cut out of your situation, your life. Uh, I'm hearing once and for all because we can't be um, expecting different results. Uh, and I feel like I've said this recently in a daily read uh, by putting forth the same um, actions, right? Uh, sticking with the same habits uh, time and time again. But there's something healthy that you're doing throughout this day that feels um, like it needs to be kept up with, okay? It needs to be um, uh, utilized uh, to uh, make sure that you are feeling your healthiest, uh, your wealthiest is what I'm getting. This feels like a very random reading, but Spirit's saying your life is changing for the better as you do as well, okay? So this is truly helpful. Of course, I'm sending you all of the love and light.